This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus X205T laptop with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus X205T laptop. Uh, before we start, a couple of things we need to go over. We need to make sure that the laptop is off. If this light on the power switch is blinking or if the laptop is on, you need to turn off. You can either do that by turning it off in Windows or doing a long press on the button. Press it for about three to four seconds and it will turn off. The second thing is to figure out the model number. On the palm rest you can see that it says X205TA which is the same as the X205T and if this label on the palm rest is missing we can go on the bottom and it says model X205T on the sticker. Okay next step is that this laptop is a little bit different, the procedure is a little bit different than most other laptops in that you can't just snap the screen bezel off and go to the screen assembly. You have to remove the whole screen assembly to remove the screen. Okay, once again, we're gonna turn off the laptop because it turned on. Close the laptop and go to the bottom. What we wanna do is to remove these screws to remove the back cover from the laptop so we can remove the whole screen assembly. And before we start to do that, I'll show you the tools we have. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers and that's to remove screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables. And we have a hobby knife, a pointed hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to pry things open and remove adhesive tape. So let's get started. The first order of business is to remove all the screws on the bottom. There's no hidden screws so all the screws that you see on the bottom they need to be removed. So let's go one by one and start removing it. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And in this case, you see the three back screws. They're longer. The three back screws, they're longer than the, all the other side screws. So we keep the longer screws in a separate pile also. So there's the three. And then the screws that go around the perimeter of the laptop, they're the shorter ones and we keep that those in a separate pile right here. Okay, so in this way we go around the bottom of the laptop and remove all the screws including the one in the center. So three long screws and three long screws and six short screws. Once we remove the screws, we can snap the back cover back off. And to do that, we need to use the hobby knife to pry it open. So we find a good place to reach in with a hobby knife. And gently start prying it open. And if we don't grab it, get it the first time, we keep trying again to find a good place to open up the seam. And we're having a little bit of trouble here, so we, we go to a different place to open up the seam. And once we open up the seam, it's really easy. Goes like this, and the back cover comes off. So our objective here is to remove is to remove the screen assembly from the back and in order to do that we need to remove some connectors for the screen assembly and the other thing while we're on the bottom is we're going to disconnect the battery 
so that the laptop doesn't turn on when we do this. So once you remove the back cover, you want to pull this long cable out. The battery is disconnected and the laptop can't turn on now. Okay, next order of business is to disconnect this video cable. We peel the tape off and gently peel back the connector or pull back the connector like so. Now let's get a close up. When we reconnect this connector, we will feel but not hear two snaps. And let's get a close up. Pause the video right here. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. Okay, so let's disconnect it and lift up the adhesive tape here also. And the only other thing we need to do is disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. So this is this cable right here. We want to lift it up and pop it off. And when we reconnect it, you want to make sure it snaps back on. So let me get a better grip on it. Okay, so it snapped back on. So let's get a closer look right here. This is what a properly connected Wi-Fi connector should look like when it's connected. So if you don't connect it properly, your Wi-Fi won't work. So make sure this step is done. So we snap back off and deroute the cable to the Wi-Fi connector. And there's some adhesive tape. And we lift up some adhesive tape here to remove the cable. And that's the only two cables we need to disconnect. Once we do that, we remove the screws for the hinges for the screen assembly. And what I like to do at this step is open up, open up the screen a little bit so that it's easier to remove the screen. Open it up at 90 degrees so once we do remove the screws, it's easier to remove the whole screen assembly. So we remove the two screws at the top and the bottom and once again start a separate pile for these so you don't get them confused. There's one and you can see the screen assembly coming off already. And the same thing on the bottom. One and now when you do this, hold the two sides so they don't fall down. And then you separate the bottom of the laptop from the top of the laptop and put the bottom away. Okay, once we do that, we have this hinge assembly freed and we want to bend down the hinges so we can access the hinge cover. Next step is to remove the hinge cover and it doesn't snap off, you have to slide it and then remove it. So what you do is you slide it to the right and then you remove it. To put it back on is you put it back on and then carefully slide it to the left to put it back on and take it off once again slide it to the right and remove it. Next step is to snap off the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen. And the way you do this is put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and out and start snapping it off. And go around the screen bezel this way until it snaps off. Okay, on the bottom you have to be careful. There's some adhesive tape that, uh, that sticks to the screen. So be careful when you're lifting it up and take it off. You can see where the adhesive tape was stuck to the screen and it move this plastic wrapper but it's okay because this screen is getting replaced anyway you're putting in a new screen okay once we do that all we have to do is remove the two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom to separate the screen from the back of the screen assembly and once again we do that one Two, three, and four. And after this, carefully separate 
the screen from the screen assembly and until you see the connector and lay down both parts like this and then we just need to separate the screen from the screen assembly okay to do this not the screen from the screen assembly we have to separate the connector from the screen to do this we have to remove this adhesive tape and we use either our fingertips or the hobby knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape just enough so we can grab it with our fingernails and gently start peeling back the adhesive tape and we didn't get a good grip on it this time so we're going to start from the other corner and try again until we get a good hold of the adhesive tape. This one's a little bit tougher than most, but once you get a good hold on it, you can peel it back. Like so. Okay, once the adhesive tape is peeled back, we want to remove the connector. Grab the screen like I'm grabbing it right now and gently pull the connector back and it comes out. To reinsert it, you push the connector back in and make sure that the two sides of the connection are flush with each other. Make sure, pause the video right here and make sure it looks like this when you reconnect it again. Okay, so let's pull it out and let's take a look at this screen. Okay, this is an 11.6 inch slim EDP screen, screen with the mounting brackets on the top and bottom. So the thing that makes the screen is a little bit unusual now like most other screens is that the mounting brackets are on the top and bottom instead of on the sides. And the other thing is it's an EDP screen. It's a newer type of screen that has a smaller connector than the older screens. It's a 30 pin connector instead of a 40 pin. So when you do order your screen and you receive it, make sure it looks like exactly like this. The part number for this particular screen is N116BGE-EB2. Now for this exact same part number, you can have the mounting brackets on the sides. So once again, make sure the mounting brackets are on the top and bottom. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons have this exact same screen for sale and we will ship you, we have a compatibility guarantee, we will ship you the right screen and also what you get with us is this toolkit that I used in this video, it comes for free with this screen. We also have a two year warranty on our screens and we have, a, and we have free shipping in the United States using priority mail. And uh, finally, we have free email technical support. So if there's any problems during the procedure, please send us an email and we'll help you out. Okay, to order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There'll be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to buy the right screen online, and then you can order us from us online. If you live outside of the United States, we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the checkout procedure and select your country during checkout. Okay, once you do get your screen in, um, make sure it exactly, looks exactly like the old screen. Connect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the top, bottom. Snap on the screen bezel. After that, slide on the hinge cover, move it to the left to put it to secure it back on. Put it in and move it to the left to secure it back on. Then mount the screen to the screen assembly to the bottom of the computer, standing it up and putting the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom. And then reconnect the Wi-Fi cable and then reconnect the video cable, reconnect the battery cable, and then snap the bottom 
of the laptop's assembly, the bottom cover of the laptop assembly back on, and put the nine screws in, remembering to have the three long ones at the top. And then well, your computer should be ready. Uh, this looks a little bit more complicated than usual, but really it is not. Uh, there's more steps, but every step is, re is really straightforward, so you should not have any trouble with this. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.